you've created a custom agenda template that can be used right away and copied for subsequent meetings. In this video, you will fill out your agenda for a real or imagined meeting. One way to reuse your template is to copy and paste it within the same document. This way, all of your meeting agendas are in one place. This method is especially helpful for reoccurring meetings, such as meetings held daily, weekly, or monthly, so people can easily review notes from previous meetings. Copy the template, then paste it above the meeting title. Next, give your meeting a title that is descriptive yet concise. If you plan to use this document for all of your meetings, rename it to reflect a more general meeting title. Then update the purpose of the meeting with more specific information. Your meeting's purpose or goal describes the reason you are meeting and what you'd like to achieve. For example, you may be reviewing last month's business sales and setting goals for next month. Maybe your group needs to choose coordinators for an upcoming event. Or your goal could be to have your supervisor prioritize a list of tasks. Your meeting purpose might change from meeting to meeting, or it might stay the same. Either way, make sure you state a clear, thoughtful purpose and strive to achieve it by the end of the allotted time. Next, fill in the meeting logistics. Make up the information if you're not planning an actual meeting. Consider who you will invite to your meeting. These are your attendees. Include people who can contribute to the discussion and anyone who will be directly affected by the topics discussed. Remember that everyone's time is valuable. If someone's presence is unnecessary, you don't need to invite them or make attendance optional for select people. Then list any unfinished business. If you have regularly scheduled meetings, include items that didn't get discussed or resolved last time. Delete any extra bullet points. For new business, consider what you want to discuss during the meeting. Include issues to be addressed and resolved or items that a specific attendee needs to address. For each agenda item, use phrasing that lets attendees know what is expected of them. For example, Review implies they will be receiving information. Discuss means they can contribute to a conversation. And brainstorm and vote means they'll be coming up with ideas, then voting. Provide enough information so attendees know when the item has been resolved. Add detail to clarify what kind of outcome is desired as a result of the review, discussion, or brainstorming. Leave space for your attendees to suggest new items. Refresh your table of contents. Now you can add multiple agendas to your document and still be able to reference them quickly from your table of contents. Next, designate roles, such as a note taker or timekeeper, or someone who is responsible for leading discussion or reporting about certain agenda items. First, designate someone to be the note taker. This can be you or one of the attendees but one group member should carefully record what is being discussed during the meeting so it can be referenced after the meeting is over. Highlight the person's name, then select comment icon. Type a plus sign, then the person's email address. Add a comment, then select comment. An email notification will be sent to anyone who has assigned roles in this manner so they can review the comments and reply. If someone is responsible for providing information or leading a discussion, assign that person to the appropriate agenda item. Assigning a person a comment clarifies that you expect them to respond or complete a task. After the person has responded or completed the task, they can mark the comment as done. Again, an email will notify these people of their assignments. If you like, add more comments or assign other items to attendees so they may provide explanation or input. In the next video, you will tell your attendees about the meeting and share the agenda. Now, it's your turn. Copy and paste the template above the original meeting title. Update the new meeting title and purpose. Fill in the meeting logistics. Add items to the agenda. 
refresh the table of contents, and designate roles and responsibilities.